Hey everyone. So, Pinocchio. What is Pinocchio? A real boy! And not the wooden boy that excels at getting in trouble and needs rhinoplasty after lying too much. Well, maybe this Pinocchio can help you with getting into trouble too. Anyway, Pinocchio is quite different. It's a solution to a problem that many people have with a lot of the AI that's available right now that is open source. And the problem with so much of it is that they're a pain in the butt to figure out where to get it what to download, and how to install it, and sometimes even how to run it. Because most of them are usually found on GitHub and require knowledge of command line to deal with any of them. Pinocchio, on the other hand, was designed to help by sort of skipping all of that. Pinocchio is an AI browser that enables you to choose from a variety of popular open source AI tools and install and run them with a few clicks of the mouse. No command line knowledge needed, just a bit of patience for the sometimes long install times. Now, the best way to really understand what it does is just to show you. First, let's go download and install the application. I do have it already, but in the short week that I've had it, it's been updated a ton already. To download, just open up your browser and let's go to Pinocchio.computer. Yes, the full word computer. And that's Pinocchio with a K, not the normal spelling of Pinocchio that you may know. Once you're there, just click on the download button. And then now, as you can see, we have Windows, we have an M1 and M2 Mac, Intel Mac, and Linux. So there are two versions available for the Mac, so just make sure you know what type of processors you have. Either you have the newer M1 and M2 Mac version, or you have the older Intel Macs. I am on the M1 Mac right now, so I will be getting this one. Then I'll bring you to this page. I'm not sure if the other pages are any different, but it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just step one, download. Click on that, allow it, and it's downloaded. So I'm going to hide this and go to my finder. And here you can see actually I have the, uh, the Pinocchio version 0 0.1.25 and now it's 0 0.1.47, which may not sound like a lot, but it's amazing how much uh, the developers worked on it constantly and not to mention entirely for free. Right, so now I'm going to double click on that, drag it to my applications, and I'm going to replace the old version, but normally you won't have that come up. And then you have to run this patch command. Okay, I'm going to right click and open it with terminal. Type in my password. That's it. Process completed. So I can quit terminal. Close this. And I'm ready to open it up. And here we go. So you, as you can see I already have Face Fusion, Comfy UI, and Bark Voice Cloning installed already. So so when you come in here, your interface might look a little different. You might already just be in the Discover tab like this, or you could just be on this page that doesn't have anything. I'm not entirely sure. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Discover. So here on the Discover window, you'll be able to look at all of the AI tools available to you in Pinocchio. The featured area up at the top tends to be the tools that the developer put more time into making sure they work. And you can see there's actually quite a few of them already right here. But then below that here is the latest category. And this just has a bunch more that are being tagged as working with Pinocchio on GitHub. And this is constantly updated just depending on what the developers are doing for each of these. And on top of that, I'm sure there are many more that you can find on GitHub and then install just by putting the Git URL into the bar way up at the top here. And then just hitting download. But as for an example, I'm going to install XTTS to show the process. So just click on the icon or really anywhere in this rectangle and let's get going. So here, pretty simple, hit download. I don't really know what this means, but I'm just going to go with the default and hit download. And there it goes. All right, there that went. And then now you hit install again. And then sometimes I'm, I know some of the other ones took a while, but it just kind of depends. 
This one, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but let's see how long. Oh, that was actually pretty quick, not even two minutes. So install success, done. And then you just hit launch. Oh, and then it actually launches it. And then I believe uh, after that's done, it'll open up in the browser. Or you have to tell it to open the browser. Alright, so that's why it took so long. That was an additional five or so minutes, but yeah, it takes a little while to download the rest of the data for XTTS the first time you launch it. I'm assuming that after that it will not take nearly as long. So that's all there is to it. XTTS is up and running and ready to go whenever I want now. I've never used it before, so I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm doing with it. That's for you to mess around with and figure it out. But now, as for Pinocchio, you can just go back into it whenever you want and either reopen XTTS or try out something else. So let's first close this and go back into Pinocchio. But now, as for Pinocchio, you can just go back into it whenever you want and either reopen XTTS or try out something else. Let's first close this install and launch window. And then in this window, you can see up at the top left, you got the house icon just click on that and it'll take you home and you can see whatever AI tools you have already installed and you can go into any of those and launch them yourself or if you want to try out something new just go back up to the discover up at the top and you're back to where you can find any new AI tool you've either used before and want to try it again or try out something new try something you haven't ever tried before and that's really it for Pinocchio it's there to simplify the AI experience for you. It's constantly being updated, and if you're ever having trouble with it, there's a great Discord community that's run by the developer. I highly recommend checking it out if you plan to continue using Pinocchio. So that's all I've got for you on Pinocchio. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I'd appreciate it if you would hit the like button, take a second to comment, and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and have a great day.